All right, today we're talking about the recreation of High Rise in MW3. The old MW2 map is coming back, and it looks like we're going to be playing it at least for Search and Destroy in the competitive season, uh, just because of how it was played back in 2009 in the MLG Pro Circuit. But for Respawn, you know, we never played Hardpoint on it, uh, so I kind of want to discuss what I think about the map and you know some tips and stuff because it is going to be in the beta for this next weekend. So if you're going to be playing that, you know, you can learn a little bit from this video on certain tactics or what you can really expect uh, going into this weekend for hardpoint specifically on this map. All right, so here's our overview of high rise and I want to talk specifically about the hardpoint rotation uh, at the current moment. So we saw a little bit of gameplay from COD Next and I just want to talk to you through the R point rotation uh, that's currently in the game. So so for the first hill here, we have the A bomb site, you know, super predictable, super contest heavy. You really see a lot of the times first hill is in the middle of the map, so it makes complete sense. Then for the second hill, we're going to be going to the B bomb site. Third hill is gonna go all the way to this underground area over here. Fourth hill at this green tarp area. And then fifth hill is going to be uh, in this little blue hallway. As you can see, all the hills are confined into the middle of the map. There's nothing on these outskirt office buildings uh, as there was previously in Skyrise. And I'll kind of talk about uh, the dynamic with that now too. So first thing I wanna say is I'm not really such a fan of this hardpoint rotation at the current moment. You know, I do think the hardpoint rotation on Skyrise was a little bit better, it actually was a little bit different here I'll talk you through that right now so for that it was actually you know number one same place number two was at this green tarp number three was at the B bomb site number four was actually in the first office building over here and then number five was at the uh, crane side office building crane side when I mean crane I mean the the big cranes that were over towards uh, this side of the map so this is how the rotation worked for a W and I kind of like this a little bit better I think it's a little bit better when you're bouncing around you know rather than having one hill here and then the next hill you know right Right next to it over here it doesn't really make sense to me because there is no real rotation in that sense you never really want to have hills that are you know right next to each other that was the big thing with uh you know slums back in black ops 2 p3 and p4 it was the junk hill and the garage hill they were right next to each other basically shared the same spawns and teams would start chaining them for you know 120 points and it was just really bad to see because it was a whole lull in the entire game where it was two hills that could be chained easily back to back and i really want to talk about how easily it will be to hold some of these hills, especially from the front side. Let's say we're talking about this P3 here and uh, we just came off a of scrap time P2. So we're rushing to try and break onto this hill. Once we break onto this hill, which will probably be one of the easier hills to break on in because of how many uh, areas we can actually attack the hard point through, it's going to be super hard for the defending team uh, that's probably going to be spawning out, you know, back over here in the corner uh, to actually, you know, regain control of this. And this is going to be really important because, you know, once you get one or two kills, this blue team now can really just start pushing up and what they can even do is literally just hold this line you know I'm actually gonna make this yellow line because I want to throw up the the caution tape you know so yellow means caution tape if you're holding the hill let's say you break on in you're, you're this blue team and you start uh, getting some kills you know hold on to this line you do not need to go past it because they will keep spawning in this general back area you know there are some squad spawn elements to the game nowadays I assume that but you know the main spawn that they're going to be spawning in is towards this area so once you get those kills, all you need to start doing is playing a trap. You know, remember the, the previous video that I did on hardpoint macro? You just want to be setting a full trap so that they cannot escape this entire building. You know, ideal scenario for this breaking team, all you need to do is keep one guy on the hill here and then have your three other guys just watch these three lanes. You know, they're going to be forced through these choke points. Number one, choke point number two, choke point number three, choke point. They have to escape this building to actually contest on the hill. And all you need to do is just watch for them to come out of it you know especially for this p4 same thing the main two choke points you're gonna have to watch are these two because if they want to take this full-on route you know let them that's gonna be a really long route for them to take but you just have to watch these two choke points they on the other hand are gonna have to be trying to escape through here to actually even contest on the hill so the big meta of this is to hold from the front you know if you start dying you're gonna be spawning probably all the way back in this corner so again you know it is really important to stay alive when you're breaking on in and that's probably what they're going for you know if there's a hard point over here they're expecting you to want this side of the map just so you can start spawning here and you could fill this in and you know let's say the other team is spawning you know in this back corner and you're trying to like get pushed up you know on these lanes uh trying you know stunt their pushes and have one guy left in the hill you know that's a possibility too but honestly the best way to play this is just to try and hold this from the front side and trap them there uh specifically when you're coming off of that p3 and trying to chain both hills in a row and i think a big part of why this doesn't really work 
is because if you're trying to break on in and you're in this P4, you're not contesting this back spawn over here. They're going to continue to spawn, you know, in this corner, even if you're on hill. And that's what creates this weird situation because, you know, the ideal play is you just hold this hill and just start spawn trapping them, uh, uh, trying to get out of this building rather than actually getting the spawns yourself. And the really bad thing is that it happens on two hills in a row. And that's, you know, that's going to be a problem. I think this should really be tweaked. And then actually even a third opportunity for you to do another trap here uh, where you can hold these type of lanes and make sure that they're not escaping from this office building on that side. But now if we're talking about that AW Skyrise hardpoint that's in the office building, you know, as long as you're in this vicinity, you're blocking this back spawn. And now, you know, teams are spawning out, you know, in the middle of the map over here and having to fight, you know, these parallel spawns uh, getting to the hill. In this case, at least it's a little bit better because in order to start capping the hill, you have to go inside of the office building and then you're starting to block uh, this close spawn. Or if you wanted to hold the hardpoint, you need to block them from, you know, passing this point so that they don't block uh, the close spawn for you. And again, the same thing on this side if you're contesting uh through the office building right here you're going to start blocking the back corner spawn teams start spawning out you know in the middle of the map and they have to fight uh, to get on the hill and have these parallel spawns you know across from each other that gives it a little bit of more old school you know regular hardpoint feel rather than this full-on trap setup that we were talking about before so in my opinion we should probably regulate this to just a minimum of one of these you know middle of the map hard points uh one of these three i think the rotation specifically should be uh one over here let's say two over here three over here, four over here, and then five in the middle of the maps. So you can exchange number two to be over here, over here, and then have uh, these other ones, you know, cross map from each other, be three and four can be exchanged. But that I think will create a little bit of better dynamic because rather than, you know, soaking the hill and trapping them at the same time, you actually have to be contesting and soaking the hill and you can't trap and soak the hill at the same time because teams will start spawning out. So I think there needs to be a, some type of balance there where you're not both soaking the hill and trapping. I think it's a little bit too much and it really doesn't incentivize actual and anchoring or rotating at all because you can break from the front so easily and that would be the ideal setup. So if you're playing the beta this weekend, you're going to have P3 over here and P4 over here. Make sure that you throw up this caution tape unless you want to just start kill whoring. But if you actually want to be soaking points, winning the game and getting kills in that manner too, uh, you, all you need to do is basically play this trap where you're just not letting them exit in any one of these choke points here and really funneling them to stay inside of that office building while you soak the points on your side. And let's say you're holding, you know, waiting for that break opportunity from the opposing team you're holding from this side you're spawning over here you know this is a situation where you can get pushed up a little bit play these cutoffs because they're going to be spawning you know way far out back over here in this deep spawn uh, you can kind of get pushed up a little bit but i don't know how the spawns are going to work specifically in the beta i assume it's a little bit squad spawn heavy so i think you still might need someone blocking the back over here even if you're on hill so you can't really get it pushed up too much uh, but we'll see how that works you know it's not really apparent too much all i could see was you know videos from cod next and the general spawns from that sense and i don't know if it's going to be the same type of spawns for competitive because 6v6 pub spawns are sometimes a little bit different but if this is a competitive map and with this rotation right now i think it's going to breed a lot of kind of boring trap setups like this uh, where you're not really anchoring or rotating as much you're kind of just trying to break on in then that's why i think this map would be super unique because you're kind of almost playing uh, for the other side rather than the quote unquote good spawns so i, I think that will be the meta of the hard point if we play it uh, we'll see how it actually pans out, whether the spawns actually change this thing or whether the rotation actually changes. But for right now, I think that's what uh, would be the common meta for competitive on this specific map. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and hope you guys at least learned something for high rise specifically going into the beta this weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one.